Hi, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It's Fluid Art Thursday with Christy Hickey and Magic Mix. And we have not tried, I've not tried a jellyfish. And um, last week or so, I was talking to Kayla and she showed me one that she had done previously at another fluid art class and I thought oh that's so pretty well since then I've watched videos all the time and um, I saw Gina DeLuca do one and I thought I want to try that so that's what we're going to do today and I have I think this is a 10 by 20 canvas so it ought to be nice and long for the tentacles and we've got our little push pins in the back here the canvas itself is nice and clean feels really nice it's tight so we are all set to go on this canvas our next class, Fluid Art Class Instructional, um, class will be February 22nd at the Island Art Association from 9.30 in the morning to 12. And if you want to sign up for that, please get in touch with me, either through my email address or phone number. You can um, find me on Magic Mix or ChristinaHickey.com. That information will be there also. I'm going to turn the camera down and we are going to get started. All right. Um, I hadn't quite decided what I wanted the background to be. I wanted to do kind of a, a light, very pale shade of color. And then I thought, well, I didn't want it to just be one color so I believe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a white base down and this is Apple Barrels Craft White it's mixed with Floetrol 50-50 I keep it in this little condiment bottle and then I'm going to drizzle Caribbean and do a paper towel swipe. There we go, the camera's in focus now. I think I was moving too quickly for it. It couldn't keep up. So that's what I'm gonna do for the background and then we will do the jellyfish itself. Did everybody get lots of goodies? For Valentine's Day I hope so oh I want to show you this before we start before I get into the paint I've been fooling around with geodes and I made this one and it's like um, it's out of styrofoam I've tried it on the canvas and I just don't quite like the look that I've been able to do on a canvas. So I thought, well, let's make it look 3D. And I'm trying, there we go, a light shining on it. So I've been playing around with different little shapes and designs for the geode and we might do a class, a craft class, on this next week. But I just wanted you to see that. The camera really doesn't do it any justice, but it's quite pretty. It's got a lot of little sparkle in it. So. Okay, let's get started. I need to wipe the dust off. That did give quite a bit of light, didn't it? Okay, I'll leave it on. So I'm just going to squirt this all over. I 
I picked up several of these. It's just a little three inch plastic um, spreader. And you need to look at the edge because sometimes, you know, they're machine made and sometimes the machine, for whatever reason, leaves a rough edge. So take a look at it, and if it does have a rough edge, just take some sandpaper and lightly sand it smooth. Here, let's see, we're just going to smooth all this over. And as you can see, I'm just laying the tool and dragging it with my finger. You don't need to apply any pressure. It's just a very gentle slide. And you might have to go different ways with it. I didn't quite get enough paint on this canvas. So what I did, I just poured a little bit on the edge of this and I'm going to tap it around the edge here because I do want the paint to go on the side. This will help the paint flow too. I'm going to put a little bit more on the top here. Doesn't need a whole lot, but it is awfully thin. It is such a beautiful day here. It's a little chilly. only because we're not used to cold weather. It's probably about 70. Or the high is going to get up to about 70. Okay. That's pretty well covered. Put that right there. Hey, Miss Ronnie, how are you today? Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I think everybody's out eating chocolate today. Okay, this is going to be our background color. And like I said, I'm just going to drizzle this on. And we're going to do a paper towel swipe. Give the background a little bit of interest. I don't want a whole lot of color, but just enough to go, oh yeah, that's interesting back there. So I've dampened a couple of paper towels. And they're the small ones, so I'm going to divide it in half. And 
you might end up swiping this a couple of times depending on <clears throat> what it <clears throat> excuse me looks like and I'm going to straighten it out okay hey Susan happy Valentine's Day I'm going to straighten it out then I'm going to lay it gently on the edge and we'll set it there for just a few seconds and hopefully the paper towel yeah it is sinking into the paint that's good we want to be we want it to be absorbed and then I'm just going to drag it across and kind of wiggle it a little bit so we can get some hopefully it'll look like water movement okay and we're kind of shy up here so what I'm gonna do is straighten it back out I'm gonna start on this edge and pull it back over wiggling it there it covered it all we'll take and touch it on the edge here bring it up so these two edges won't be blank now for the side that's a little bit touchier I'm actually going to have to do that after it dries a little bit because I'll need to put the canvas on its side and do each side separately and I don't want I can't do that while it's wet so we're just going to lay that right there and this is the look that we have so far okay and now for our jellyfish, got some paint running over here. For our jellyfish, I chose the colors metallic cobalt blue, and it's an artist loft color. This does not have silicone in it. It only has the Floetrol and the paint. It's three to one. One part paint, three parts Floetrol. And then I'm gonna add this color in it as well. And that is Artist Loft Bethalio Green. And I have one more Key West I might or I might not use. And we're gonna do some string too, some string art in here for his tentacles. So first we're going to do his head. This is the first time I've done a jellyfish, so we'll see what we get. And I want to do like a half moon up here.
let's take the green I'm putting the green right underneath the blue Okay, move this over here out of the way. Okay, I wasn't quite sure how much paint to put on here. And after doing that, I can see that it's going to require more than what I put on here, which is fine. I'd rather start out with just a little bit than have too much, right? Let's see what that does. getting there. This is just an ordinary straw that I'm blowing in, but I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Now I'm just dotting the paint on here. Yeah, I think it needs to be, I think it needs to be longer. Are y'all able to see that? Bring it up here. So we've got a pretty good beginning. I think I'm going to blow some more of this paint down.
Oops. Yeah. Okay. Put some more blue in here. Like I said, this is the this is the first time I've done this, so I don't really have anything to go by doing you know compared to what I did last time. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, again, y'all are seeing it raw. Hey Sherry. Happy Valentine's Day. So what I'm doing here is building up the layers of color and it looks like it's um, forming like a three-dimensional picture here like there's tentacles or part of it in the background that that are lighter and then there's some up front Yeah. Let me look at it from this angle to see if the composition the composition looks pretty good and I can do some tentacles here. Okay. So for right now I'm gonna leave this alone. And the string that I have is just some jute string. how far y'all can see and this may be too long you know it's gonna be too long let's see I'll cut it off about there that ought to work it's a little bit longer than the space that I need it, but I'm gonna curly cue it here so it'll actually have to be longer. And I'm just gonna dump some paint over here on the side. Get the string in it. Do the blue and the green together for the first time and let's see what happens. Has any of, have any of y'all tried the string art? It's so much fun and you can get so many different designs out of it. Okay, I'm going to go with the blue again. Alternating the colors. And after the first one, we might just decide, you know, might best do one that's green and then another one that's blue. We'll find out. 
You try something first. If you don't like it, go on to the next thing. You know, you get these ideas in your head and you have to try them. I think I might go for a walk after this. It is such a beautiful day outside. I don't know if y'all can hear the birds singing. They are, they're very happy. The next fluid art class in Amelia Island is going to be held at the Island Art Association, February 22nd. 9.30 in the morning to 12. And you'll do two canvases, 11 by 14s. So get in touch with me if you want to participate. We have a lot of fun. And okay, here we go. Well, thanks, Sherry. Okay. So I have blue and green paint on the string. And I'm going to run it on this popsicle stick. When Gina was doing hers, she um, mentioned something about not letting the string have a lot of paint on it. See, not much came off. So this first one's really going to tell whether I put too much paint on it or not enough. And if anything, I think that the string might be too thick. Should it go with maybe a thinner twine? But we're going to find out. And right now, I don't have a thinner twine. Okay, I'm going to let that sit there just a second, making sure that all the string is touching. Okay, and I'm going to gently pull this towards me. So, hey Rosemary, hey Mandy, we are in the middle of making a jellyfish. First time for me, so y'all are going to see what to do and what not to do. I think I should have made the curly cues bigger. All right. So I'm putting the string back into the paint. And I'm actually going to put paint all the way to the end of that string.
one of the fluid art classes that I'm doing at the convention in August is the string art. It's going to be a lot of fun. The um, I don't know if you recall seeing it, but I did a painting called Spring Leaves. And that's what we're going to do. There is a um, fluid artist on YouTube called Wiggle Arts and oh my gosh he he does things with string that I just I could watch him all day long he really has the technique down and um, I'm not sure but that's all I've seen him do so you know the more you do something the better you get the more practice right But if you have a chance, look him up. It's Wiggle, Wiggles Art. And also Gina DeLuca, she's really good. You have Sandra Lett, she's real good. There's a whole whole slew of us out there that um, we get ideas from each other and share. Okay, here we go. Pick this up. And might have to end up redoing that one, but I'm going to place this one right here. And I'm going to do larger cur curly cues. Okay, see what that does. If anything, that's kind of faded out, so it might end up looking like it belongs there, you know, towards the back. Yeah, that's a lot better. So big curly cues it is. That's a lot better. Y'all can see that a lot better too, can't you? Than that first one. So this is going to go back into the paint again. I wiped off the access after pulling it through here. I wiped it off so it doesn't have any of the white paint on it. Hardly has any paint on it. And we could do this in one of the classes at the um, art gallery. That would be fun. Could offer that. I think maybe. Two more tentacles. I'll do one here.
Okay. Okay, we're going to make sure all of our string is down in the paint. And pull very gently. Nice. That's really nice. Oops. Okay, I think I'm going to let that settle, and we'll see. I might have to end up redoing it, depending on whether or not that white comes through. Now we're going to put on some straight, straight tentacles. I might end up putting some more color on the head of that jellyfish, too. I'm just barely putting this popsicle stick through there. Oops. Take some of the blue now. That green is really wanting to sink into the white. I think what I'll do is and put some more color up here. Oh, the coffee pot's going off. That's okay. All right, let's put a little bit more green up here. And then I'm going to blow.
Yeah, that gave it a lot more color. I'm just trying to soften these. Do not want that to go over though. Nice little puddle of paint right there. This flow trawl, when it levels out, it will um, it'll spread. And if you have anything set the edge like that. Nine times out of ten, it will go on over. So there. There. Okay. Hey, Bonnie. Oh, a bunch of y'all came in. I've been busy and not looking up. Happy Valentine's to all of, all of you. We have Rose, Diane, and Nat Dot, and Bonnie. This is my first hand at doing a jellyfish today. And it's not too bad. Not too bad. I think I'm going to let it settle. I might end up having to redo these. Because it looks like the paint is soaking into the white. Not bad for the first one. Thank you all for joining today. Really appreciate it. And um, hope you get some chocolates or whatever your favorite sweets are. And. Get outside, go for a walk. It's a beautiful day. If you want to do some of the classes, hook up with me. Got something in the paint there. Oh well. Thanks, Sherry. Appreciate that. I'm going to come back and check it in another hour. In about an hour. It would still be okay to do something with it. You can tell by looking at your painting, the, um, the flow trawl in areas will be kind of um, dull. And that's where it'll be dry or drying faster than the rest of the painting. So as long as that doesn't happen quickly, might come in here and do these again to make them stand out more but um give your give your hand to try at this and see what you what you can do it's amazing thanks everyone appreciate it hugs to everybody and i will see you next week for crafty tuesday and we might just try our hand at doing a geode. So I'm going to find a larger piece of styrofoam and see what we can do with that. Here's the back side. See, it looks like a rock. Anyway, bye everybody.
Happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you next week.